Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I've got a new toy. This is the G0513X2BF. It's a 17 inch 2 horsepower Extreme Series bandsaw from Grizzly and I am pumped about it. I had it delivered to our store which has a forklift and a way to unload it so I didn't need to pay for the lift gate. And as you can see, we just put it on our flatbed trailer and lowered it down with a winch, then unpacked it and got it ready to go inside. This thing comes packed super securely. I was really impressed with the way they shipped this thing. It takes a little bit to get it out of the crate, which is always a positive. And it was in pristine condition when it arrived. This is definitely a two-man lift. This thing is upwards of, I think, 300 pounds. As you can see, I got the mobile base for this bad boy. You know, you know what, go back. One really important note, before you get this thing on the mobile base, make sure you have it set up right. See these arrows? Those arrows point to the casters, which are on the outside, and you want those facing out on the narrowest edges of the bandsaw, if that makes sense, so the door can open and not hit them. We loosened all the bolts up, and once we got it on the mobile base, we were able to adjust it to fit the size, and I'm pretty happy with the fit, and it rolls around pretty easily, so that's a, that's a good thing. Whoa, how's it going? Over there, over there. All right, now on to the setup and testing. This is the fun part. There you have it, 17 inch Grizzly bandsaw. I can't comment too much on the pros and cons just because this is the first like legit bandsaw I've really owned. It's big, it's powerful. I got it primarily for resawing and I was resawing some walnut, hickory, red oak, maple, as you saw, you know, down to a quarter inch and it was doing it like butter. I even tried some 12 inch cherry and it made no difference. This thing was super powerful and really precise. If you take the time to calibrate the fence, get the tension right on the blade, do all those tedious tasks, you'll have good results. Two videos I can recommend that 
kind of helped me was Will Walker at WM Walker Company. Uh, he got this bandsaw and actually used his code to buy it. He does a really good job of kind of giving you some hints as to setting it up and you know what to avoid and shows you the whole process kind of like I did, but much more in depth. The other one is the Wood Whisperer put out uh, recently a video on how to tension your blade and how to set up your guides and things like that. Also super helpful. I followed those steps and basically got it done the first try. Really excited to have this as an addition to the shop. Let me know what you guys think, if you saw anything I did weird, if you have any tips or tricks, if you own a big bandsaw like this. So, hope you enjoyed. As always, trust your guide. We'll see you next time. More project videos to come. Thanks for hanging out. See you, bye.